Okay, I finally made it. Here we go. I've got my target set up at 25 yards. I'm just going to do a 25, 100 yard zero. It's kind of cloudy out here. I'll put the camera on the tripod in a second. That's 25 yards, then 100 yards. I had several people comment that maybe I had cut too much off um, and then I had lowered it somewhat, but really I only lowered it maybe a, a fraction. I don't think I even lowered the top of that V, which would have been the center of the radius, which is normally where I line up my top post. I may have lowered it a little bit, but I don't put my the top of the post in the bottom of the V. I put it at the top of the V. So really I didn't lower it that much. And I'm going to find out now if I did. And I'm just going to crank it all the way down. I think it's cranked all the way down. And then rotate it back around to my 6.3 notch. And then we'll go from there. See? Even if I did, you can see I've got about a sixteenth of an inch there, maybe a little less. I just raised it by rotating it all the way around one revolution. I raised it up any that I cut off, so I'm not worried about it, people. Just not worried about it. <laughs> but there's a good look at the funky AR. I know, it's still new. I don't want to get it scratched yet, so I've got a towel laying on <laughs> underneath it. Let's see if I can get a good look there at it. Okay, so enough talking. What I'm using is the Remington uh, 55 grain. Good looking stuff, isn't it? So let me get my camera set up and we'll go from there. I'm going to use my camera as a spotting scope too, so I've got it set up right beside me. Okay, I'm going to line up the uh, top of the V with that little guy in the middle. I help if I put my uh, hearing protection on. That was freaking loud. <laughs> okay, so that was my first shot. Let me try two more. Is it on safe? Okay, that's not bad. I need to adjust it to, to the right a little bit. So let me do that. And see how that works out. All right, we're off safe now. Whoa, how did I go higher? That's just my prop here. I need to get a more stable prop. Now let me see if I can get that windage. Did it on fire? I need, a, I need a better prop here for siding this thing in. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Although I'm shooting high. So, 
Maybe I just need to crank it back down to the original, the original mechanical zero. Pretty happy with that. Let's just go out to the hundred yard mark and see. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Shoot, I was thinking my camera would zoom more than that. Okay, let's just try some shots. I may have to actually go up there, physically go up there and and uh, check. I'm going to aim for the upper one first. Let me load up again, guys. I'm going to shoot at the lower one this time. Well, shoot. <laughs> All this stuff down in here, this is about six inches. All this stuff is just me moving with a bad prop. And I'm hoping this was where I was aiming lower on the last uh, shots. Huh. I would have thought I would have had more damage to this plywood. Guess not. I need somebody with me with like a better camera or a spotting scope to tell me where my rounds are hitting. With those open sights you just can't see. So, anyway, I'm happy with that. I brought the wrong ammo box. I was lucky I had any 223 ammo at all. I grabbed the wrong box and uh, so I had to scavenge some old crappy Tula. I had that one box of Remington, but the only thing else I had was uh, Tula. And you saw those were the misfeeds in the, uh, that I had. So I even noticed that some of the uh, <laughs> casings were dented on them. <laughs> I started not to use them, but decided to anyway. Supposed to go visit a friend in September, and uh, he's got a spotting scope. Can't say who it is or it'll jinx it, but uh, I'll uh, get him to watch my rounds where they hit and tell me what to do. I'm gonna see if I can't find a few more rounds and see if I can hit this thing. What's that? Seven inches, and uh, it's about 80. 85 yards.
one more. Go, yeah, go ahead and load that. I was going to miss it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Cut short a little bit because uh, I, uh, why am I always doing that? <laughs> I grabbed the wrong ammo can. I grabbed the ammo can that had the, uh, I need a label, and it had the uh, 22, had about 2,000 rounds of 22, and I don't know how many rounds of 9 by 18, and there was some loose rounds of 9 millimeter in the bottom. But uh, that's why I was plinking with my Glock at the end. Um, I only had, I guess about, 40, about 35 rounds to sight uh, the rifle in with. I really wanted to go through about 100. So, uh, that was a bummer. But, next time I come, I mean, it's, got, it's close enough for now. The next time I come, I'll make sure I get the right ammo can. And, and I think I'm going to be happy with those sights. I, don't, I think, uh, it's funny, I don't think people realize how little they use their rear side anyway when they're focusing on the front side and I know that's gonna raise some hair on people's backs but mainly you're just in instinctively or intuitively trying to get that you know front sight lined up the way you want it up or down or whatever and uh, pull the trigger so that's the artist and Tony wisdom of the day <laughs> now I gotta get out of this place